Dun, dun, dun. That's what's here. Da, 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 da. I bought a toothbrush, some toothpaste, a flannel for my face, pajamas, a hairbrush, new shoes, and a case. I said to my reflection, let's get out of this place. Past the church and the steeple, the laundry on the hill, billboards and the buildings, memories of it still keep calling and calling. But forget it all, I know I will. Tinted by the fruit of another, tinted by the truth is discovered. What's been going on now that you have gone? There's no other, tinted by the fruit of another, tinted by the truth is discovered. Da, 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 da. I'm at the carport, the airport, the baggage carousel. People keep on crowding and wishing I was well. I said it's no occasion, it's no story I could tell. Do, do, do. At the bedside, empty pocket, a food without a sock. Your body gets much closer. I fumble for the clock, along by her seduction. I wish that it would stop. Tempted by the fruit of another. Tempted but the truth is discovered. What's been going on now that you have gone? There's no other, tempted by the fruit of another, tempted by the truth is discovered. Da, 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 I bought a novel, some perfume, a fortune off for you, but it's not my conscience that hates to be untrue. I ask of my reflection, tell me what is there to do? Dun, dun, tainted by the fruit of another, tainted but the truth is discovered. What's been going on now that you have gone? There's no other, tainted by the fruit of another, tainted but the truth is discovered. Da, 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 da. Oh, tinted by the fruit of another, tinted by the truth is discovered. Okay, this is really just a tribute to uh, my favorite musician. One of my favorite musicians is Paul Carrick. And you pretty much know his voice. He was the guy that came, was a part of um, a band. I think their name was um, Arrow or something like that. And they had that song, um, How Long? Is this been going on? How long? Is this been? There's a dance and a dance to persuasion. There's a dance to part of the scene. There's no consistent attending. It could happen to us any day. How long? Is this been going on? And then, uh, and then he was a part of Squeeze, and they had the um, West Side, let me see, it was East Side Story was the name of the album, and it was co-produced by, um, by uh, I think it was Nick Nolte, Nick Nolte, oh no, that's an actor, I'm thinking of, um, it's not Nick Nolte, what is his name, uh, Nick Lowe, <laughs> different guy, different, different Nick, Nick Lowe, um, Paul McCartney, and uh, and Elvis Costello. So they're calling me in right now. Uh, I'll probably do the Micah Mechanics um, "In the Living Years," which is also sung by Paul Carrick. He's a. I also I got his Groove Approved album back in the '90s. It was one of my favorite albums. I love is a battlefield surrounded by monsters. Truly mystified, my new home is a battlefield. Mountains, bottles, waters, tips of the all around. 
There is desolation, scenes of devastation, of a love that's fallen apart. Our love is a battlefield. He got a really soulful voice, you know. Uh, one of the best British singers. And I really like Squeeze. I saw a documentary with, um, what's his, um, one of the guys that squeezed him, trying to, uh, trying to remember his name, the guy who sung most of her songs, and he went around Texas, and he was just like wondering if anybody knew of Squeeze, you know, that he was the lead singer, and then all these Texans started pulling out all these, all these CDs in their cars and stuff of like Squeeze and stuff, and he was just completely blown away. It was Glenn Tilbrook. He was completely blown away by just how many people, like, out here in Texas. And I was blown away because most people out here are very secretive about if they like anything from the East, because most of them like this Western music. And I just came to the realization, how much Western music do you actually see black people in? I mean, it's just kind of non-existent. And it's probably the reason why I don't like Western music, you know, country Western because there's just no black people in it. And especially with this, this George, uh, what's his name? Lloyd, this George Lloyd stuff going around and I'm just like, you know, and then I hear about this thing about Tulsa burning in Oklahoma where they just pretty much covered up the fact that these white people had completely burned down this town and then didn't pay back all the black people there. And then you have all these people that go, that do these um, reenactments of, of the Confederate of the Civil War, and I'm just kind of like, it's. Uh, and then people say, well, you know, they're in support of black people, and I just don't think we realize how much of our culture has been bent for these people. That in uh, New York, uh, I saw a documentary that said in New York that. The whole slave trade was probably the pretty much the reason why people came to America. And so we haven't been rewarding them, or, you know, and we took the land away from the Indians and we just have this tendency to be extremely, and I mean, with the, with the COVID and stuff, it's like most of the white people are the people that are just you know, up in arms about having their, their rights uh, violated and stuff like that. And, and they don't realize that we have we have uh, a white privilege, you know. We got more privilege than any of the minorities in the, this country, and that, and we're kind of a minority ourselves. And it's all going to go away, and the future is going to forget the is going to forget the Civil War. You know, it's not going to get carried down very many um, people. Are just going to eventually forget it. It's just going to go away, just like everything goes away. You know, and 100, 200 years from now, nobody's going to remember any of that stuff. Nobody's going to care either. So I think it's really stupid that people hold on to the, a pride for heritage. That was what, that was what um, brought all the, that's what caused all the Germans to, like, um, start their whole racist regime. That's what Hitler did, is he, he tried to make them feel prideful about their heritage because they had all these Jewish people that were kind of taking over the country and then they saw them as a threat so they tried to come up with a reason to get rid of them and just like we're trying to get rid of the Mexicans out of this country you know all the illegals but it's really that it's a war against uh, a race you know it's a race war and they were up against Obama you know and maybe it did Obama did do some bad things but I, largely, I don't see any problem with him. I just, you know, anytime he tried to do something good, there was always those the GOP that would always get in the way and try to prevent it because they thought it was socialism. They just have a tendency to to uh, villainize anything that looks anything like socialism or communism. The thing they don't realize is that uh, Christ was basically a socialist. I mean, if you go back and read the Bible, but they just don't want to understand it, so... I'm sorry to throw some politics and some religion in there, but, you know, 
Um, I don't think people realize how much the British like our like our country, you know, and we like the Brits just as much. And you know, I I don't have any problem with the with us becoming more diverse, and I don't have any problem with with paying back black and and the Indian people that that existed here and everything. You know, maybe the history has a tendency to paint a pretty picture of the past, but uh, it really seems to me like we enslaved people and we really shouldn't have. And, you know, even the British and the Irish that came over here were, were uh, villainized. And they villainized the black people and the Spanish villainized the black people. And, you know, and this country probably wouldn't even exist if it hadn't been for the slave trade. It's a sad but true point. And we just tend to forget things because it's so easier to forget than it is to uh, than it is to pay homage or to um, to pay back. So.